back. This is the tree after it's just been pruned. It took us a good five minutes just to prune all those little bits of dye back off, those pale whitish grey tips to the branches there. The tree looks a lot cleaner. There's some branches where the light is just reflected and look very pale on camera but they're actually fine, they're, they're, they're a pale reddish colour so that's all the dye back taken off the tree and it's a good job to do when the weather's sort of fine before spring or after the fall when the tree's dropped all its leaves so you can see what you're actually doing it comes a lot harder in the next couple of months when the trees covered in leaves so it's best to see what you're doing I also removed some of those weeds that were on the surface of the pot I've noticed quite a lot of surface roots so I might have to tap the pot and pull the, the whole root ball out and have a look and if the roots are grown round inside I might have to repot it. Well, I will have to repot it, sorry. But it's only been in this pot for two years, so I don't think that'll be the case. But just for today, I'm just concerned above soil level. We have some little shoots here and there, which is promising. Because this tree, when we bought it four years ago, was a massive leaves. It was lovely. But then about a year later I did a little bit shaping of the tree, a little bit pruning and um, it didn't like it and it seemed to have struggled since last year was quite a good year for growth, it was a good few inches but unfortunately that resulted in quite a lot of die back as with some of the other trees in the garden but it's just a, a natural process so it's nothing to worry about So that's just a simple way, if you're new to Japanese maples and you haven't done any pruning yet, watch the first video. I've just missed one there, this is a little, little piece that needs pruning off. But for, for to get introduce yourself into getting the little bit of experience in pruning, just trim those die back tips to the branches. Don't forget like I said in video one so you're looking for if this was white and this was dead you're going back you're looking along this branch to the next set of healthy branches buds here and you're just going to cut half an inch of a slightly bigger tree an inch just prune there and these buds will form new branches in the coming year so it's very easy just to get the practice of pruning with pruning the dye back off the tree and it, not only that it really tidies the tree up as well because it's it's very unsightly when the trees got no leaves and you've got all this dead wood on the tree even when it's in leaf have dead uh, branches popping out through the leaves it's it's a bit unsightly so give it a go don't forget to clean your shears your pruners or your scissors every time you you prune a different tree you can wash them in water or a cup of water with one drop of disinfectant just give them a wash and a dry every time you prune before you and after Good hygiene practice, especially these in the summer. It's always taught and a shout out to our members in the ASA Trees and Japanese Maples Facebook group. Just a quick introduction to pruning. this time of year it's a good job to do before your tree leaves out like I said
but you really got to go out and it's a good time to to start. You can see now I've uh, screwed up the next two or so I've had a look at that root ball. So I'll make the decision whether that needs reporting or not. But if it doesn't need reporting, basically the tree is finished. It's maintenance apart from a, a little thin layer of compost on the top. Just because it's still sunk down a little bit with last year's water in. Remove the bubble wrap after the frosts in a month or so. That tree's ready to just stand out the patio in the garden and just leave be apart from watering. It'll be fine for this coming year. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope to help a little bit. A very cold, windy morning in the northeast of England. Take care of yourselves.